neighborhood rocked by a double homicide. Hello, everybody. I'm Tracy Carlos. Thanks for joining us at 11 on Mike Crookbank. A man is in custody accused of shooting two people inside an SUV in Concord Township. But neighbors are still wondering what sparked the violence. News 5's Emily Hamilton talked to some of the people who live on that street about what they heard and saw. It was a busy night for Lake County law enforcement. The person that police believe shot and killed two people just behind me was taken into custody after a lengthy SWAT negotiation. Two bodies were found Saturday night. Those people dead from gunshot wounds in this white SUV. Rhoda Fisher heard several loud pops around 11 p.m. but thought nothing of it until she received a frantic call from a close friend. She said, are you OK? Are you OK? I said, what do you mean? And she said, look out the window. And I saw fire trucks. I saw police cars. Another neighbor thought someone was just celebrating the start of the new year with fireworks a few days late. Our neighborhood is a very quiet neighborhood. Very little crime happens around here. They're mostly all peaceful type people. They go about their daily business. Shortly after, just a little over a mile away, the Lake County Sheriff's Office and the SWAT team were called to Oak Ridge Drive, where that shooting suspect had barricaded himself inside a home. After negotiating with that suspect to stand down, he's now in custody. People living in Concord Township shocked to hear of the violence in their typically quiet corner of the world. Very gruesome and sort of scary, you know, you live in an area where nothing ever is happening and then all of a sudden something like this happens. It, it sort of brings you back to reality a little bit. But I wonder if it could have been prevented, you know, with all the circumstances that are in this country right now. Authorities have not yet released the names of those two people found dead inside that SUV, and we are still working to confirm the name of that suspected shooter. Reporting in Lake County, Emily Hamilton, News 5.